Hi and welcome to Bud's Smart Home. Today I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic weather tile in a free Sharp Tools dashboard, but not just any weather tile, one that gives you real time temperatures and multi day forecast. It's a must have for anyone looking to stay ahead of the weather while keeping their dashboard looking sleek and professional. Now, if you're new to Sharp Tools, here's the scoop. It's an incredibly powerful automation platform that integrates seamlessly with SmartThings, Hubitat, Homey Pro, and Home Assistant. It gives you the ability to create custom dashboards, automate routines, and control your smart home devices from a single interface. Whether you're using an iPad, a tablet, or even a smartphone, Sharp Tools gives you a clean and professional look. If you'd like to try the free version of Sharp Tools, it lets you create a single dashboard with up to 15 smart home tiles. So if you haven't tried it out yet, today's video is the perfect opportunity to dive in and get started in exploring some of the awesome features. Here's what you're in for today. First, I'll guide you on how to find and install the Sharp Tools app. I'll then walk you through the simple steps to grab a free weather API key so that you can pull in the latest weather data. After that, I'll show you a super easy trick to pinpoint your location's exact coordinates, which you'll need to enter into the dashboard tile. With all this in hand, you'll be able to add the dynamic weather tile to your dashboard in no time. Ready to turn your dashboard into a weather station? Let's dive right in. If you'd like to set up a free dashboard within Sharp Tools, I encourage you to follow along with me. You can establish your free Sharp Tools account at sharptools.io and you'll come to this screen and then you'll just hit this login button to log in. Sharp Tools permits the integration of selected data from either SmartThings, Homey Pro, Hubitat, or Home Assistant. It allows the creation of unlimited number of rules in the rule engine and that rule engine uses if then and else commands. If you're familiar with them, you, you'll know that it's pretty easy to set up. Also allows you to create a single dashboard with up to 15 tiles. I do have a step-by-step -step video guide showing how to integrate the Homey Pro data into the Sharp Tools dashboard. And I've also done a video in the past on the integration of smart things so i'll provide links to both of those videos in the description below this video so once you've created your sharp tools account you'll next need to set up an account with open weather open weather provides the data that you need for the weather tile you'll click on the link that i provided in the description below for open weather and then You'll create an account here by putting in a username and an email, then hit the Create Account button. Once you do that, your account is created. You'll come back here and you'll sign in. And once you've successfully signed in, you will go to API and it'll say Weather API at the top. You'll want to scroll down to where it says Current Weather Data and hit subscribe and then scroll down again to where you see where it says free and then you'll click on this get api key so once you've uh, gotten your api key you should be able to click here under my services and it'll show you that you have the free plan which gives you hourly forecast click on my api keys and you should see an api key in here and you're going to copy this key to put in the tile at a later point but for now just leave this tab open because you're going to come back to it one thing i forgot to mention you should be aware that it could take up to one hour for a new api key to be activated on your account but once you sign in you tap the heading like i said up here under your name your login name and it should show my API keys and that's what you tap on to see your API keys. Then you'll need to tap on the link to the Sharp Tool community. I left a link in the description below that says weather tile instructions and that'll take you to this page which has all of the instructions that I've covered to this point 
what you'll do basically is scroll down until you see this large green button here that says click to import this custom tile and you'll click on that and you'll be directed to this screen and it'll tell you to be sure to scroll down and hit save at the bottom here this uh, blue button this save button and when you do that it is going to create that tile in your settings once you've done that save then what you want to do is go to your dashboard so i'm going to click on dashboard now and you'll need to create a dashboard i have the the paid version so i have several different dashboards in here and you can see i'll click on one of the you can see the weather tile in each of my rooms and i can go to any room and i have that weather tile at the top of each room this is a, a security screen Here's my living room devices, and you see the weather tile again at the top. But for now, we are going to go back to dashboard, and I'm gonna, you'll, you'll click on create a dashboard, and you'll just be given a blank dashboard. It'll look something like this without the weather tile in. So down here, the three dots, this is how you edit your screen and I'm going to go over and I'm going to delete this tile out of the screen so we'll remove that I just have a main menu tile and then to edit your tile you'll go to edit and then you'll hit this green plus button this green plus button what you want to do is add an item and we're going to add the weather dashboard and you do that by tapping on other at the bottom of your screen and then select custom tile and here you see open weather. Uh, I just imported another one, so that's why you see two entries here, but we'll click on this one here and hit done and done again. So here's the tile. And in order to get it to populate, you need to enter that API key and a few other data items I'll show you here. So you click on these three dots to edit the tile and by the way you can change this to any size you want right now it's it's uh, two tiles high and three tiles wide so here's where you put the open weather key so i'm going to go back to our open weather site copy that key and come on back into the dashboard and paste that next we need location so this would be the location where you want to report weather and you'll need the latitude and longitude and an easy way to obtain that is on Google Maps so I have a Google map up here and I'm going to assume this is our home what you'll do is you'll right click over top of your home and then you'll click on the latitude and longitude and that copies it automatically to the clipboard go back to your weather tile and paste those coordinates in there all right and you can have your temperatures and other stats report in imperial or metric i'm going to leave it on imperial this automatically defaults to the english language if you want something other than english the weather dashboard has a section i've left a link in the description below so you can access the language options but if you click on that it'll take you to this site where there's multilingual support and if you scroll down here you see you can find the codes for all kinds of different of languages for instance russian would be ru but we're we're going to use english so we'll leave it blank as the default uh, do not change this leave this on the 2-5 multi uh, preference now this is where you could change the types of tiles that you can have and if you want to see the various types of tiles if we go into the instructions if you look down in the bottom you can see that there's this is what the today tile looks like this is what today wide looks like this is what today mini looks like this is what forecast looks like and this is what forecast horizontal looks like and the one that's the default tile that I'm going to use is all the way at the top here, this one here. 
uh, displays the current weather. It says six day forecast, but mine usually typically only shows four days uh, in addition to the current day. So let's go back to the tile. We're going to leave this default, which is the tile I just showed you. You also have the option to show air quality if you want. I'm going to hit save and here you see our created tile. So it's that easy to set up and like I said if I go uh, then uh, well, there's another step here you you hit this orange button to save your dashboard. By the way if you go to these three dots and you want to add devices from your smart home once you've authorized those devices you can go in here you can hit edit so you can edit this dashboard hit the plus sign and the way you add devices is you hit things and all devices you authorize like for here I have my Doan Siren which I can add uh, let's say my family room desk lamp uh, let's say I'm gonna add a blind let's see I'll add a kitchen light and let's add a living room door uh, that's showing locked let's add also the door shows open and closed so we'll go all the way down to the bottom of the screen and tap done and then you can move arrange these tiles any way you'd like so I want the door and the lock here and then you hit save and then these are dynamic t uh, tiles so you can operate these tiles simply by tapping on it I've just turned on the family room desk lamp you can change the status of the blind by pressing and holding and you can adjust you know maybe I want to close it 47 percent or leave it hundred percent open uh, kitchen light I can turn on so I can unlock the door this just shows the status of whether the door is open or closed currently it's closed my living room door so very powerful dashboard and easy to set up uh, plus in addition to that you can have a dyna dynamic weather tile so that you can see what's going on not only today but in the upcoming days don't forget to check out the two other videos that i referenced showing how to set up the sharp tools dashboard and give permissions so that you can import homey devices or you can import smart things devices also remember that this is also compatible with Home Assistant and Habitat. So if you found this helpful, I'd surely appreciate a thumbs up if you think it deserves it. And also, I wanna thank you for watching today. We'll see you next time.